Did you know that your cells have dreams? The eight subunit protein complex, DP, retinoblastoma, rv like E2F, MOV, B, or DREAM, is central to cell cycle regulation. Depending on what proteins are bound to this complex, DREAM stops or encourages cell cycle progression. This relationship can be thought of like driving a car. For example, if protein P130 binds to DREAM, it is like pressing on the brakes. While MIB binding is like hitting the gas, continuing the cell through its cycle and division. Disruption of DREAM commonly occurs in cancer. For example, the oncogenic protein E7 produced by human papillomavirus 16, or HPV 16, specifically disrupts DREAM from stopping the cell cycle. And if we again compare this to driving a car, it is essentially cutting the brake line, encouraging infected cells to proliferate and eventually become cancerous. My research aims to investigate how DREAM function is disrupted by HPV 16 E7 protein. There are several human viruses that are known causative agents of cancer. Some, like HPV, are widely associated with this risk. Others, like the Epstein-Barr virus, may come as a bit more of a surprise, as we normally think of it as merely causing mono. As it has proven extremely difficult to completely eradicate many of these viral infections, we need new methods to prevent viral disruption of the cell cycle, including those involving the dream complex. Much of the research regarding how HPV E7 protein disrupts the dream complex in human cells has been done in vitro, or outside of the body, such as in cell culture. My goal is to study this interaction in vivo, or inside the body of a living organism. Now, I'm not going to be infecting human cells, or even going to use a live virus at all. So how can I do this? I'd like to introduce C. norabditis elegans, or C. elegans. C. elegans is a nematode toad worm that only grows to about a millimeter long, and is normally found in rotting fruit. C. elegans is an excellent genetic model system for studying gene function, as there are many similarities compared to how our genes function that are regulated as to theirs. This holds true for the dream complex. HPV can't infect C. elegans, but we can simulate it. Using the gene editing technique known as CRISPR, I am able to introduce the HPV E7 gene into the C. elegans genome. This allows the cells of the worm to produce E7 protein on their own, with no other parts of the HPV virus. My goal is to create a strain of C. elegans that has this protein gene as a permanent component in their DNA and to be able to study the effects of the HPV E7 protein in the dream complex as the worms develop and reproduce. If I am successful, I then plan to design a screen of compounds aiming to disrupt the activity of the E7 protein without killing the worm. If this is possible, it may reveal new directions in research to treat HPV cause or other similar types of cancer, and maybe one day we will be able to stop these bad dreams. Thank you.